Okay, so let's edit our two zone files, our forward lookup zone for danceclasses.com and our reverse lookup zone for danceclasses.com. So we'll start with the first one. So I'm going to do a nano, and we'll put in the location of the file. All right, there it is. And let's edit it up. So start here. We're going to put in dollar sign origin dance classes dot com. And then the next line, what we're going to do is we'll put in TTL. Just put at. And very important, after it says danceclasses.com, I've already made a mistake here. I need to put a dot after the domain name. And then over here, I also, I'm going to use tabs here. Tab, tab, and tab. I'm also going to put a dot after each one of those and then a parentheses and so it's important that in the DNS system that we have that dot after the domain name alright um, alright that looks good I finished these initial settings for this zone file and now I'm gonna go another line down and I'm gonna hit tab and then in NS DNS one dot dance dot com and this is what you will fill in, fill in your own domain name when you do this alright um, then I'm gonna put a dot afterwards and Maybe I will use tabs here in between. All right, that looks good. Yeah, I like that better. And let's do the next one. Tab in. We can put in an MX record for mail. And the priority of the mail server. And then the domain name. OK, and also a dot at the end and then just a regular A record so in tab A for A record and then the domain name or no I'm sorry the IP address 192.168.1.98 so that's the so an A record that's going to point danceclasses.com to this IP address good now DNS1 tab in tab a tab and then the IP address and then the host name machine six tab in and then the IP address and then we'll do we're gonna do two more FTP tab in a record and then mail and then this record instead of an A record which we've done for the last few has all been A records this one's going to be a C name record a canonical name record and to the host name let's see here so that would point to machine six okay that sounds good then last but not least we're gonna do another canonical record for our www to resolve www for the website CNAME record
Okay, and that looks pretty good. So I'll do Control X, Y, and Enter, and we've got that saved. We can cat it out, and you can see there's our file. Taking a quick look at it to make sure there's no mistakes, and that should work. Let's see if it will pick this up if we do a service name D restart. Okay, you can see that it started okay, and you can see that we're getting failure, right? Um, illegal types of calls here. So, what we want to do is let's finish our reverse lookup zone file and then we'll see if it'll restart and work. So what we're going to do is I'm going to copy var name d dansclasses.com dot zone and I'm going to copy it to var name d dansclasses dot com dot rr dot zone and that way if I copy it over then we have something um, to start from so hit Y and yes and so now if we edit it let's do that nano to edit that file we have something that we can start for which will make it go a lot quicker so origin we can go right up here to origin and we can start editing it and we'll say 1.168.192.in-addr.arpa. at the end all right and this is going to stay the same and the next few lines are also going to stay the same and here we're gonna make a few changes we're gonna say at in name server machine six dot dance classes dot com dot and then afterwards we're going to say one in and this will be a PTR record or we'll get rid of the 10 from the mail record and machine six and then the name and we're gonna do the same thing for DNS machine six dot dans classes dot com dot and this will be line two and three and we're going to do four and then we're going to get rid of the rest All right, I'm just erasing that. Make sure to put the dot at the end. Okay, that looks good. And we will save that. Control X. Y, enter. We can cat it out just to make sure that it looks good. That looks good. Okay, and let's restart our service. As you can see, the service name D restarted. We stopped it, we started it, and now we should be able to resolve those names. So if we do an NS lookup, let's try to resolve dansclasses.com and you can see it resolves you can also see that we can resolve www.dansclasses.com as well as mail and 
DNS1, and that resolves. Also, let's try our fully qualified domain name, which would be the name of the computer, host name, machine6.danceclasses.com, and you can see that resolves. If we do a host name, we can see that we get the host name. Let's try once again to get our FQDN to show up. Maybe it won't. And you can see now our fully qualified domain name also shows up. And so now we've got danceclasses.com, the domain name configured. We have a fully qualified domain name. And we're ready to host, let's say, a website on this server. We can resolve um, DNS queries, uh, NS lookups. We could have a mail server. You name it. So anyway, I hope that was helpful.